Mars is a planet of extremes. Its landscape is both beautiful and harsh, a testament to the planet's volatile nature. It has the largest volcanoes and the deepest canyons in our solar system. Olympus Mons, for instance, stands nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. But one of its most striking features is its thin atmosphere. This atmosphere is composed mostly of carbon dioxide with traces of nitrogen and argon. This thin air is a key ingredient in the formation of Martian dust storms. These storms are not just local events, they can span vast regions of the planet. These storms can engulf the entire planet, creating a reddish haze that can last for weeks or even months. Earth's atmosphere is about 100 times denser than Mars. This difference has profound implications for weather and climate on both planets. This means that the air on Mars is very thin. The thin atmosphere also means that there is very little protection from the sun's radiation. It doesn't take much to stir up the dust on Mars. Even the smallest disturbances can send particles flying into the air. Even a gentle breeze can create a dust devil. These mini tornadoes can be seen dancing across the Martian surface. The thin air also means that temperatures on Mars can fluctuate wildly. Without a thick atmosphere to retain heat, the planet experiences extreme temperature swings. During the day, the surface can reach a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit. This warmth, however, is fleeting. But at night, temperatures can plummet to minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold is intense and unrelenting. This extreme temperature difference creates strong winds. These winds are powerful enough to shape the landscape over time. These winds can whip up the dust into massive storms. These storms are a defining feature of the Martian climate, showcasing the planet's dynamic and ever-changing nature. Be sure to check out the video description for information about our partners and get exclusive coupon codes for a 10% discount at the Space Shop. Every purchase made through our links helps grow this channel and allows us to make more awesome content. Thanks for your support and enjoy the video. Dust storms on Mars are a fascinating phenomenon. They are born from a unique combination of factors. The primary ingredient is, of course, dust. Mars is covered in fine reddish dust. This dust is easily lifted by the planet's weak gravity and thin atmosphere. The second ingredient is heat. During Martian summer, the planet is closer to the sun. This proximity leads to higher surface temperatures, which heat the air close to the ground. This heated air rises, creating updrafts. These updrafts lift the dust into the atmosphere. The third ingredient is wind. Mars is a windy planet. Winds are generated by the temperature differences between the equator and the poles. These winds can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. They pick up the dust lifted by the updrafts and carry it across the planet. Martian dust storms are not your average dust devils. They can grow to truly colossal sizes. Imagine a dust storm so large that it covers the entire continental United States. Now picture it engulfing an entire planet. That's the scale we're talking about with Martian dust storms. These storms can grow so large that they are visible from Earth through telescopes. In fact, the first telescopic observations of Mars revealed these planet-encompassing dust storms. These observations sparked curiosity and a touch of fear about the red planet's volatile nature. The largest dust storm ever recorded on Mars happened in 2018. This storm was so big that it covered the entire planet for months. It was even visible to spacecraft orbiting Mars. The storm was so intense that it blocked out the sun and caused the temperature to drop by several degrees. Martian dust storms are not just impressive for their size, but also for their frequency. Unlike Earth, where dust storms are relatively rare events, Mars experiences these planet-shrouding storms on a somewhat regular basis. While smaller dust storms can occur almost year-round, the truly monstrous planet-wide storms tend to occur during Martian spring and summer. This timing coincides with the planet's closest approach to the sun, when solar heating is at its peak. On average, Mars experiences a global dust storm every five and a half Martian years. However, this is just an average. Some periods may see more frequent storms, while others may be relatively calm. The unpredictable nature of these storms adds another layer of complexity to understanding Mars. A planetary chokehold, the dangers of Martian dust storms. While mesmerizing to observe, Martian dust storms pose a significant threat to any future human exploration of the red planet. These storms can cover the entire planet and last for weeks, sometimes even months. These storms are not just massive dust clouds, but carry a whole host of dangers. They can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour, 
creating a hostile environment for both humans and machines. The first danger is visibility. The thick dust can obscure the sun, plunging the surface into a twilight-like state. During a dust storm, the Martian sky can become so thick with dust that it's impossible to see even a few feet ahead. This can disorient astronauts and make navigation extremely challenging. This lack of visibility would make it incredibly dangerous to navigate the Martian surface, especially for rovers and other exploration equipment. Rovers could easily get lost or damaged, jeopardizing missions. The second danger is the abrasive nature of Martian dust. This dust is not like the dust we find on Earth. It's much more harmful. This dust is composed of fine, jagged particles that can damage sensitive equipment. Over time, these particles can wear down mechanical parts, leading to malfunctions. It can scratch solar panels, clog filters, and even wear away at spacesuits. This would severely impact the efficiency of solar-powered equipment and the safety of astronauts. Prolonged exposure to this dust would be detrimental to both human health and the longevity of equipment. The fine particles could be inhaled, posing respiratory risks to astronauts. Therefore, understanding and mitigating the effects of Martian dust storms is crucial for the success of future missions to Mars. Battling the Inevitable Protecting Future Martians Knowing the dangers posed by Martian dust storms, scientists and engineers are working on innovative solutions to mitigate their impact on future human missions to Mars. These solutions range from developing dust-resistant materials to creating advanced weather prediction systems. One promising area of research is developing self-cleaning materials for solar panels. Martian dust storms can significantly reduce the efficiency of solar panels by blocking sunlight. Self-cleaning panels, perhaps using electrostatic charges or special coatings, could help ensure a continuous power supply even during dust storms. Another important aspect is improving Martian weather forecasting. By understanding the triggers and patterns of dust storms, scientists could develop more accurate predictions. This would allow mission controllers to take necessary precautions like shutting down sensitive equipment or seeking shelter during particularly intense storms. The future of Martian meteorology, unraveling the mysteries. While we've learned a great deal about Martian dust storms, many mysteries remain. These storms, which can cover the entire planet, are still not fully understood. Scientists are continuously working to uncover the mechanisms behind their formation and their impact on the Martian environment. Understanding these mysteries is crucial for ensuring the safety and success of future human missions to Mars. Astronauts will need to be prepared for the harsh conditions that these storms create, including reduced visibility and potential damage to equipment. It will also provide valuable insights into the evolution of planetary atmospheres and the challenges of living on other worlds. By studying Mars, we can learn more about the processes that shape planetary climates and how they might affect future colonization efforts. One area of ongoing research is studying the role of water ice in dust storm formation. Water ice found in the polar ice caps and beneath the surface may interact with the Martian atmosphere in ways that contribute to these massive storms. Recent studies suggest that water ice clouds in the Martian atmosphere may play a role in lifting dust particles, leading to the initiation of these massive storms. This interaction between water ice and dust is a key area of interest for scientists. Another area of interest is investigating the long-term effects of dust storms on the Martian climate. These storms can last for weeks or even months, and their impact on the planet's climate is still being studied. Some scientists believe that frequent dust storms may be contributing to the ongoing erosion of the Martian atmosphere, furthering its transformation into a cold and desolate world. This erosion could have significant implications for the planet's ability to support future human missions and potential colonization. As we continue to explore Mars, each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of this fascinating planet. The more we learn, the better prepared we will be for the challenges that lie ahead in our quest to explore and perhaps one day inhabit the Red Planet. Conclusion, respecting the red planet. Martian dust storms are a testament to the raw power of nature, even on a planet with a thin atmosphere. They remind us that Mars is not a benign environment. It is a world of extremes that demands respect and careful consideration if we are ever to set foot on its dusty surface. By understanding the dynamics of these storms and developing innovative solutions to mitigate their risks, we can pave the way for a future where humans can explore 
and perhaps even one day call Mars their second home. However, this ambition must be tempered with a healthy respect for the red planet and its formidable dust storms. About the author, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson is an American astrophysicist, planetary scientist, author, and science communicator. He is currently the Frederick P. Rose Director of the Hayden Planetarium at the Rose Center for Earth and Space and a research associate in the Department of Astrophysics at the American Museum of Natural History. Tyson is known for his charismatic and engaging approach to science communication, making complex astrophysical concepts accessible to a wide audience. He hosted the television series Cosmos, A Space-Time Odyssey, a sequel to Carl Sagan's iconic series Cosmos, further solidifying his place as a leading voice in popular science.